Benny, how about your bum? So here's video number two um, in the noun classes series. So if you've just stumbled across this video, rather just get started with the first video. Okay, guys. So then at the top right, top right hand corner for you guys, you'll see a little I pop up, um, like the letter I, which will then, if you click that menu, you'll find the playlist. Then just click on that playlist so you can start from the beginning. So just do that right now if you, if you haven't watched the other ones and then it will explain the whole concept of noun classes and all of that. Okay. But otherwise if you're on the journey and you're here for class 1A and 2A, um, the second, the second like, video in this, well the third video in this playlist um, and the second group of noun classes, then good guys, awesome, keep going. Okay. So... Class 1A and 2A are very similar to class 1 and 2, hence why they've just got that little A. The A doesn't actually mean anything, guys. It's just to, den to denote that it's different from class 1 and 2, but at the same time also saying that it's very similar. Okay, so that's basically what it's saying. So class 1A is the singular class and class 2A is the plural class, like we've said before. the the classes with odd numbers are more often than not like the singular classes and the ones with the even numbers are the plurals. Okay, so now this is also similar to class 1 and 2 where it's got a lot of human nouns. So nouns that correspond with people or their roles or even proper nouns. Okay, so proper nouns are introduced in here. But there are a few things that aren't people related, um, like animals and miscellaneous nouns, okay, that we'll get to, okay. But let's just start with the, the people thing. So here we go. I've got them overlaid here, guys, so you can follow along. So clearly the first names and surnames, these are proper nouns, what we'd call proper nouns in English, okay. But they are grouped into class 1A and 2A in Isikosa. Because the classification of nouns in Isikosa is different to English, okay. So, example, Ujamini and Ojamini. So, guys, I must really say right from the outset, this plural, the noun prefix, O, it's a double O. So, it's not in English like we say, U, like food or mood. It's different. It's a different pronunciation, okay? And you would do well to get this, okay? So, obviously, Ujamini is quite straightforward. It's like, U. That oo sound, okay? Like oo la la, but oo, okay? Oo dlamini. But then when you go to the plural, it's o dlamini. So o, it goes up like that, guys. It's difficult for me to give an example of an English sound that's similar. But you've got to draw, draw it out, like o dlamini. It's not o dlamini, like it's o dlamini. Oh, Jamini. Okay, I'm repeating so that you guys can, can get it. Um, and th this is obviously the plural. So instead, like as you can see here, guys, um, oh, Jamini is one person. Maybe his name is Jamini. So you know that it's a singular. But then just by changing the noun prefix, it has a completely different meaning. It can mean Jamini's family or whoever Jamini is with or... Yeah, like his associates, so it's more of a group, okay? And you can see the same follows for Manja, Jenny, and Smith. It's all the same, okay? Now, the next is family names, okay? Now, these ones are human, but they're close to home. It's family, guys. So, Umama is your mother or a motherly figure because in Kosa, even like an older lady that's not your biological mother is still considered to be like your your mother, like, in a way, because people are such, uh, uh, like, kind and loving and communal people, like the notion of Ubuntu, humanness, that they don't see someone that's, like, maybe not biologically related as completely other. It's still like a mother figure. So you would say, Umama is one, but Omama is mothers or older ladies. So it doesn't just mean mother, like you can see. It also can mean like a middle-aged or, or, yeah, like a young, like, okay, a more middle-aged to older woman. 
you say mama and then yeah like umakulu or utata utata is not there on the overlay but still utata is another example and then you say oh tata or um utamkulu means a grandfather then you say oh tamkulu okay so you you guys are following here guys okay so now here are some professional names. So now this is where you see there's a bit of a gray area because there's also professional names in class 1. And now there's also some professional names in class 1A and 2A. So you've just got to remember, this is where memory comes in and repetition, is you just have to remember which ones are in which class. And you learn that just by practice. Um, it's like spelling or whatever. You, you just remember that, for example, Uti Chala which means teacher. You can also see because it's not um teachala. If it was um, you would probably know that it's class one. Um, but because it's just u, uh, there's no m there, then it's, you can see there's clues as to which classes it falls into. And guys, this is just takes time and practice. Then you master it and you will know uh, more often than not. So, u teachala, the plural is not aba teachala, like with class 1 and 2, where Abba is the plural. Here, it's O Tichala. So you just got to, to be aware of that, guys. Ukriha, which means doctor, as you can see here, guys. The plural is O Kriha. It's not Abba Kriha. So you've got to remember that, guys. Okay. Now, here's just a few more, like, examples. Okay, I'll change the overlay here now to some animal names. So here's some animals that have the, the plural O. Okay, so you've got to watch out for these guys. But once again, they're not very common things that you're going to use. So like a scorpion. Okay, like I've never had to use that word in Kosa. Unonkala, crab, very unlikely you'll use that. Uchebe, shark. So yeah, guys. So you'd say, oh, noma duduane. Or, oh, nonkala. Oh, chebe. So, yeah, like. It's not that likely you're going to use these words. So don't stress about it, guys. See it as an opportunity to learn a cool language rather than, oh, no, like, this is so much to learn. It takes time, guys. That's why I said once again, subscribe and hit the bell symbol and just work at it over time, guys. And then some miscellaneous nouns like uloliwe, which means train. And then plural would be ololiwe. So these are things like you just build up your vocab over time. And you won't necessarily always encounter these things. Umachini, oh machini. Um, umaponakude, oh maponakude. So there we go, guys. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So yeah, um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Any questions or suggestions, go down into the comment section below. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe guys and keep going on this Isikosa journey. Save the playlist guys. Um, the, once again, the information symbol in the top right if you want to get to this playlist and save it so you can keep learning all the numbers.